And now, Effective Communication with Phil Zeller, CEO, Dale Carnegie, Southwest Michigan. A friend of mine once told me, hey, Phil, great news. I've got some great advice, great advice to give you. It's so great. I want to give it to you because it was given to me and I'm not using it. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful one from a friend of mine from the South. And he shared this. How many times do people want to give you advice and they don't even follow it? They're not even doing what they espouse to believe that we should be doing. And it's amazing because we see this stuff all over in the news out there. And we see people telling us how we should act, how we should behave, how we should live our lives. And then when you actually look at what they're doing, they're not even following what they're telling us to do. Well, there's a lesson to be learned here. And it's, it's funny. The only person that these people are fooling are fooling themselves that they truly believe that they think they can tell other people what to do and they're not going to follow their own advice. And it's better for all of us. Do it because I said so. Yeah, I joke with people all the time. You know what? I hear you say that. It didn't work for my dad. What makes me me think it's going to work for you? And he was a very well-educated man. Went to the Harvard of the West. Hey, he was a U of M graduate from a doctoral degree program. So here's my point. My point is, is that you can say things, but if you haven't done it, you haven't earned the right, you haven't learned it, you haven't studied it, who's going to listen to you? And why would they listen to you? Think about that for a moment. So Dale Carnegie found out a fundamental of communication is that we must earn the right. We must earn the right to be able to talk about what we're talking about through our study and our experiences. And I was thinking about this. I was just, I I saw my ophthalmologist just the other day and he said, Hey, you know, have you ever had any surgeries done on, on your eyes? And I said, yeah, I did. You know, it, it was over a decade ago. And he said, tell me about it. And I had gone through a process of, uh, you know, if you, if you have any surgery, you want to do your homework. You want to find out who's the really good doctor, who's a really good surgeon. You know, what are the references? What do past patients have to say? And if you're concerned about these things, like most people are when they're going into surgery, they want to make sure they have the person who's earned the right to do the surgery. You don't want the, the brand new intern. Hey, here I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brand new resident. Hey, yeah, my first time out. Give me the, give me the scalp. I'm going to cut into this guy. <laughs> Probably not the guy you want doing the surgery or the woman doing the surgery on you is the first person. You don't want to be the first person. Reality is that we want people that who have earned the right. And as I share with my optometrist, uh, the, the guy who had done the surgery for me a number of years ago, he said, oh, yeah, I remember him. He was... He was the best in the business. He was the best, you know, and he goes, I can tell looking at the work, you know, it's, it's fantastic. And I said, well, thank you. I, 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 that's a great level of reassurance. So as we look around society right now, and as you listen to people, and if you want to learn from people, find out if they've done it, find out what they've been through, because it's the people who've truly done it, that truly do it. They understand it better than anybody. And, I, and, and where, where I go, I walk into a store or I meet somebody in a line of work. I always want to find out, tell me how long you've been doing this. What have you learned? What, what have you grown? And I've found that in my life, when I go to people who actually do it and they do it for a living, they know it better than anybody else. It's oftentimes I'm working with organizations in leadership and they make speculations that somebody is doing down on the shop floor or on the line. And I said, well, why didn't somebody go ask that person who does that job every day? What's going on? It's like that line from Tommy Boy, right? <laughs> I could take your word for it. I can take the word from the guy who does it every single day, right? And uh, that's who I'm going to take it from. And I don't need to actually do everything they do. All I need to do is understand that they do it and they know it and they do it every day. So why not listen to their advice? And this is our challenge. And this is your challenge and my challenge. Because part of the hypocrisy that we're seeing out there that's really confusing people is people who say, do as I say, not as I do. I recently saw that we had somebody who received a climate czar or or climate czar received an award. And the award was because they were, were helping the climate. The only problem is they flew their personal jet to this meeting to receive this award. And then somebody says, well, wait a minute. Why would you fly a personal jet if you're getting a climate award for being big about the climate? Why do you have a, your own private jet to get from point A to point B? Why can't you fly commercial and reduce your carbon footprint? People ask these questions. And when people think about this, they say, well, that doesn't make sense. You know why it doesn't make sense? 
because you haven't earned the right. You got to follow through on what you do. You got to believe in what you say that you do. And by doing this, you're going to show others they can learn from your experiences. They can grow from what you're doing. So remember, earn the right through studying experience and you'll have the impact you want to have.